Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to paint some snowflakes. So let's do it. Do you want to paint? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so to start, I'm just gonna go through my materials. I have B watercolor paper today. I have one that is taped down fully onto a piece of cardboard and then one just plain. I have my Winsor Newton Cotman watercolors. I have my Princeton snap brushes. I have a size 16 and a size six, but you could use a size 12 if you don't have anything this big. Water, paper, towel. I also may or may not be using uh, my gold Fine Tech palette, maybe the silver, we'll see how it goes. And I also have sea salt. So we are gonna be doing a fun little snowflake piece. You could use it as a card or just like art in your house, whatever. We're gonna be doing two. We're gonna be doing a background of blue and then doing white. Oh, we also need white ink. I'm gonna be using Dr. PH Martin's Bleed Proof White Ink, um, but you could always use white watercolor or white gouache, anything that's opaque. Um, so we're going to be doing a background and then doing some snowflakes on top. And then we're going to be doing just a plain snowflake here. So I'm going to start off by doing the background of this one so we can let there be enough drying time. You're going to do a watercolor background. So you want to do wet on wet. So you're going to fill up your paper. I fill up. You're going to paint the background of your paper all with water. Okay. And to know the right amount of water that you need to have. You don't want it dripping off your page. So if you tilt your paper like this and it's pooling all in one area and dripping off, that's too much water. You can just dry off your paintbrush and then kind of just try and move it around. Or you can also get your paper towel and just like soak it up at the bottom. Okay. So you want to see a nice even sheen on their background and you're just going to start dropping some color. Okay. I recommend making it darker than lighter because you're going to be doing white snowflakes on top. So I'm going to take some, I think this is ultramarine blue. I'm going to take some turquoise, some bright blue. Some mauve. Some dioxazine purple. I really like the purples and the blues for this. Okay, and if when you're adding a lot of color, you see that it's starting to pool and drip and you have too much, again, just dry off your brush and then just try to move that color around. You don't want it dripping everywhere. That will force your paper to buckle a lot more. And that's why we tape it down too, so it doesn't warp as much and it's easier to work on. So I suggest just try not to add too much water. Okay. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a little bit of sea salt, like honestly, a tiny bit. You don't want a lot, and you're just gonna sprinkle it maybe in one little section, okay? Not a lot. Um, I will show you what happened before <laughs> I did this, and I added more salt, and it just went everywhere. It just kind of like lifted up too much of that color, and it was really light, and it was hard to see the snowflake on top. So a little bit of salt, and not everywhere, because you want a, that darkness to remain, okay? And you are going to let that dry completely, and then we'll come back to it. So while we're waiting for it to dry, we are going to paint some other snowflakes. Okay, so I'm gonna draw two different snowflakes and really there's no right or wrong way to do this. You can pick whatever designs you like. If you need some inspiration, you can always look some ideas up, but I'm just gonna kinda wing it here. Why? Okay, so I'm gonna take some blue and I'm just gonna start off with um, lines. <laughs> so I'm gonna do one line going up like this, one line going sideways. And if you are the type that wants everything perfectly symmetrical, you can definitely use a ruler and measure it out first and do it with pencil. I'm just gonna wing it though. Um, I'm gonna do one line going 
one down here. One line going down this way. And one going up this way. And then one this way. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna switch up the colors too as I paint. So maybe I will try um, to, let's, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm going to connect these like that, boop. You want it symmetrical. So whatever design you end up doing, you want it to be symmetrical, as symmetrical as possible. So don't put pressure on yourself. For it to be perfect, it will still look cute. Okay, there we go. Um, maybe I will do some lines like this. Yeah. So bigger, smaller, smaller. I feel like it could be bigger than that. Smaller, like that. How many did I have? Four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Then I'm gonna add like a little thing on the top. Like that. Maybe I'll do this. Maybe I'll <laughs> I love it. I'm just guessing as I go. I'll do another line in here. Just have fun with it and play around with tons of designs and just switch up the colors that you're using. So I'm going from blue to purple to, you know, darker blue to turquoise. Um, maybe I'll come up here too and do, I don't know, I don't know. Key is to just make it symmetrical. I feel like I could add something else, but I feel like maybe I should stop. <laughs> Let's add something on top here, like a circle or something. Like that. Okay, and then I'm just gonna go over my lines again that have dried, because we're gonna put salt on this one too, so it adds like a tiny bit of texture. but. The salt effect will only happen if the watercolor is still wet. So I'm just going to wet up as much as I can. And you're not going to get a lot and a lot of texture because these are just like thin little lines, but it's still fun to just get a bit. And you don't need a lot of salt. That's a lot of salt, it's fine. <laughs> okay, there we go. There's my first snowflake. Okay, now we're gonna do a second one. Um, <laughs> let's, let's go for it. Okay, I'm just gonna, again, do the same kind of thing. Maybe I'll do like a circle in the middle. You just have to, you know, have fun with it, just let go. Just let it go, let it go. We've been watching a lot of Frozen in my house lately. Sorry. That's what happens when you're a parent and your kid becomes obsessed with something. Okay, this one's only gonna have six. These would be great too if you're planning a Frozen birthday party theme of some sort, if you got kids. Um, this time, these are going to go pointing up instead of in. Like that. Cool. And I'm going to do lines in the middle. I'm going to grab some blue. I'm going to do. the shape of my brush, like a little leaf shape almost, like that. Let's do it on top of here too. 
of these ones. Like that. Changing up my blue again. And we're gonna do some more of those lines. One, two, three. Let's just do two, three this time. like that and then again just going over your lines just to make them wet uh, okay and then again going to grab some salt. You know what? I'm going to grab some salt from my desk because <laughs> it is all over and I'm just going to put that on top. There we go and we'll wait for that to dry. Okay so let's check up on this. Awesome. Okay cool. So it's still not completely dry. I'm going to just finish drying it with my heat tool but you can see where that salt was. It really kind of like repelled that um, watercolor color. Get it? Okay. Um, but you do want to make sure you only do it in certain areas because of how white it gets. So we're going to do a snowflake right there where it's darker. So the white really pops. So I'm going to go dry it and then I will be back. Okay. So now it's fully dry. You can dust any excess salt off and you can see the salt made those really cool marks. Um, like I said before, you don't want to go overboard, overboard with the salt because you see that it really pushes that color away and you want to have some darkness so you can paint your white snowflake there but it does give a really cool effect i think because it's sea salt it is a bit bigger and um maybe more dense that it does leave bigger white marks you might want to use table salt if you want just like a subtle snowflakey pattern but now i'm going to take my white ink if you can hear my son freaking out in the background that's okay he's eating lunch he's been he's been full-blown toddler lately so <laughs> Okay, so I'm just gonna do another snowflake with my white ink. Okay, I was starting off with that. <laughs> His tantrums are slowly moving away from really cute and funny to like, oh dear Lord, what happened to my sweet, sweet boy? <laughs> Cause he's, he's been interesting lately. Okay, and then I'm gonna do another one like that. Like that and you can always repeat the same patterns that you did before if you want I might do that I really like those kind of diamondy looking ones and I do highly recommend this ink again if you don't have it white gouache would work white watercolor would work just make sure you add more paint than water so it's nice and opaque but I really do love this ink and I use it for lettering too, which it's great for. I actually might show you how I do some calligraphy with it with a pointed pen after I've done this. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't know if you guys can hear the background. It's so funny. I was like, I'm gonna start filming. Try and keep them quiet. That didn't happen. <laughs> oh man. I thought toddler age would get a little bit easier. I really struggled with the baby stage, but this is starting to prove me wrong kind of miss my quiet days of just baby snuggles okay there we go there is my snowflake and see having that darker background really makes it pop unlike this one i tried to do earlier and then tried to outline with blue to make it pop more it didn't work use less salt and then i might just do another small one over here and keep that tape on so you'll get that nice crisp line so you only see maybe half of it okay that and I'm actually going to show you how I do my calligraphy with my pointed pen with this ink so what I do 
So I'll wet my brush. I'll pick up some paint in there. And I don't even know if this is right. I haven't actually, <laughs> I'm not a pro at this, but I'll put the ink like this. Oops. And then I'll just tap any excess right there. And then I'm gonna write, let it snow. which is difficult to do on watercolor paper, but I'm, I'm going for it. Let it Okay, we're still good. Snow. Now, I would give you a tutorial on how to use one of these, but I don't even know if I'm actually doing it proper myself. So I would feel kind of weird doing that. Um, but there are tons of resources on YouTube of other people doing them. So that's about that. Okay, and I just rinse it off and then I'll dry it properly after. So there you go. Now let's take off the tape. see what we've got and this would be really cute for a card or just something to frame and then let's see what our snowflakes have turned out to look like so I'm just gonna wipe some of that salt off all over my desk now it's not too noticeable but it's definitely textured which I, I like you can see in the middle there leave some cool texture. And with these, what you can do, obviously you can cut them out and just frame them on their own, something really simple, but you can also cut them out and use them as tags. Okay, so now I'm just gonna cut it out just by cutting around it. And then I am gonna add a little bit of silver paint around the edges just to make it sparkle a little bit. And then I'll take my hole puncher, punch a hole, put some sparkly ribbon in it, and we're done. And there you go, there's some really cute, easy gift tags and a card or a little piece of art. Okay, put it in the paint. Paint, and now paper, paper, paper. Yeah! Thank you all so much for watching my video. I really hope you liked it and I hope you learned something. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram and Facebook for even more. Have a great day, guys. Bye! See you. Bye.